Hey guys, Domsky here. So in the last video, we got our sign intensity to 650, and I thought that was the highest we were going to get, but someone left a good comment saying we may have missed an alchemy skill that will help with this, and I don't know how I overlooked this. It is called Synergy, and it increases the bonus for the mutagen by 50%. So if you remember yesterday, um, for the four greater blue mutagens, uh, the bonus was 40 for a total of 160, but now that we added this skill, it goes up to 60 for a total of, what is it, 240%. Uh, so the difference should be pretty significant, and I'm curious to see what we can get our uh, sign intensity to now. Uh, so for anyone who didn't watch the video ye uh, yesterday, I'm not going to go super in-depth showing my character build and all that. I'll just quickly uh, give you an overview. Uh, for swords and armor, I'm using Grandmaster Griffin because we have bonuses, sign intensity. And then for our character build, of course, we're using signs to get the most out of sign intensity. And then for the Blood and Wine DLC, for the mutation, we're using Euphoria because we're going to have a high toxicity and that's going to help with sign intensity, as you can see right here. So this is our character. Let's begin taking decoctions and potions to get our sign intensity up. The only decoction I, I take uh, is the Foglet one because that does help with sign intensity. So we'll take that, and now we'll just begin taking potions. It doesn't really matter. We're just getting our toxicity up. You can see in the top left, the green bar is going up. So there we go. Uh, the only potion that does help with sign intensity is Petri's Filter. So we'll just spam that. So currently we're at 195, and remember, we can get to 205. 205 is the highest. So I'm going to let this go down, and I'm going to keep spamming it until we get to 205. But um, with Grandmaster Griffin... If you put a Yurden Trap down, if you're inside the Yurden Trap, you get a bonus of 100% sign intensity. So currently, let's look at it. And it is 675, so it's already higher than yesterday. Yesterday was 650. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till the, the um, Euphoria bonus keeps going down. And I'm going to keep spamming the potion to try to get it at... There we go, 205. So currently, we're at 690. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn in an enemy, which increases sign intensity as well. So one hand. So here we go. So he's inside. And now let's take a look. So we're at 204 from the Euphoria. Now this is pretty much the highest we're going to get. 726%. That is insane. That is insane right there. And currently our Euphoria is at 204. So it can go up to 205. So I think maybe the highest would maybe be 727, 728. But that's insane. So yesterday we were 650 and today we're 726. So that's even that much better. But just look at this. When you're at this high of a level, we're on death march with enemy upscaling on right now. Watch, if we just use Igni on this guy. Look, he's a level 100 upscaled enemy and he's taking about 1200 damage every second. Just one hit of Igni and he dies. Watch, now let's, uh, let's spawn in a couple more enemies. Uh, sorry for the keyboard sound. Let's uh, spawn in five enemies. Again, they're in the Yurden Traps, so they're slowed down. And just watch, one hit of Igni. They're taking about 1,200 damage every second. And that, that's all that's needed to kill them. That's insane right there. So uh, thanks for the comment, whoever left that yesterday, uh, telling me to put that new uh, alchemy skill on. So there you go. That's probably the highest I've ever seen. I don't know if uh, higher is even possible, because I think I've... Uh, pretty much checked everything. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed, uh, leave a comment. If you have reached a higher sign intensity, also leave a comment because I'm curious to know. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.